Now, vodka has been drunk throughout Europe since the early 12th century, but it's only been drunk in America, and as soon as it was drunk in America, hence round the world after that, since about the 1940s, and it was because of this cocktail. The brand Smirnoff was bought in 1937 for $14,000. So small was the demand for vodka in America. And the man who bought it, John Martin, sent himself out on the road to try and popularize it. He sold it as white whiskey. And people didn't drink it because the traditional way of drinking vodka was drinking it neat or slightly chilled at room temperature. Americans like to drink, but they like to drink with flavor. He ended up in the Cock and Bull Bar over in Los Angeles, moaning to the head bartender there that he'd bet all his money on this product and nobody was drinking it. And head bartender there said, I know how you feel, buddy. We've got 10,000 gallons of ginger beer downstairs that we bought when we were drinking it in Jamaica. We thought it would be popular. Nobody liked it. So what they did was combined vodka with the ginger beer, gave it a splash of lime, and it became a drink known as a Moscow Mule. This was the first time that vodka was really drunk as a mixed drink. And so popular was it that within, men, within 10 years, sales were looking at $50 million. We're going to use a different style of Russian vodka, because Smirnoff is no longer made in Russia. We're going to use Imperia, which is part of the Russian standard family, which was one of the new style Russian vodkas. And it's a very simple drink. Traditionally, it was originally served in copper mugs, but nowadays they've become prohibitively expensive. So all we're going to do is literally get our glass, put a large hit of quality Russian vodka in there. Russian vodkas tend to have a little bit more fire, a little bit more pepper, because they use northern European wheat, which has a slight white pepper kind of feel to it. We're then going to have some fresh lime. Again, just hand squeeze it in there. Just so you get the juice, no pith to it, no bitterness to it. And then top it up with a decent ginger beer. Give it a quick stir with those straws, a slice of lime. And this is the cocktail that started off the whole vodka drinking tradition. This, the Moscow Mule.